Hello, hello to everyone. Hello, my friends. Hello, singing lovers. For another tip of the day, yes. Uh, the tip of the day today will be about chiaroscuro. Well, first of all, what is chiaroscuro? Chiaroscuro is uh, the main element of classical singing. Eh? Probably you have already heard this chiaroscuro, which means translated chiaro, light, scuro, dark. Well, when we sing in classical singing and in opera, we actually uh, need this element. It's the basic uh, recipe of classical singing, more or less. But we need both. Then we need the chiaro and we need the scuro. So let's speak about this and let's understand uh, it a bit uh, deeper. Scuro, first of all, uh, is not very difficult. It's just actually making the space, lowering the larynx, and we can do it, for example, with the U position, U. You see? U. The U is really a blessed vowel, this vertical position uh, that creates space. So we should actually try to sing in that position and to put all the vowels in this U position, yeah? U. Also, we can think about crying. If I, oh, if I'm really sad, my larynx also lowers. This is for what concerns the scuro, so the roundness of the sound. Well, nice. For what concerns the chiaro, the light, the lightness of the sound, the penetrant metallic quality which gives projection. What <laughs> is the maneuver? What should we do? Well, usually since centuries, everyone says, okay, sing in the mask, sing in the mask, right? Yeah? Why? Because we have actually the perception here where uh, we would put a mask at this level. And that's okay. It's completely fine. This is how we do perceive it. But perception is one thing. Production is another thing. Actually, the mask, this very metallic quality in the sound, actually is produced somewhere else. Yes, maybe you don't know it, but it is produced at the level of the epiglottis. What is the epiglottis? Epiglottis is that sort of leaf, it's that sort of door of valve that closes to make us survive when we drink liquids or we eat food so that they don't go in our lungs. Mm? So it is really a wonder, yes, this wonderful movement mm, of the epiglottis. Well, the epiglottis can also actually close not completely but partially and when it does this when it closes partially we get this kind of sound which is the twang this eh, 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 like a duck quack, 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 this metallic or imagine the the witch of hansel and gretel eh, eh, eh. actually <laughs> annoying <laughs> not nice but with a lot of metal also some uh, languages do have it some asiatic languages some regions uh, of America even. I'm American! Ah, ah, ah. Well, this metallic quality, quite disturbing if it is taken alone, it's actually a fundamental element of classical singing if combined with the scuro. Chiaro scuro is exactly that. It's this twang quality with the lowering of the larynx with the space. So, to be more practical eh, and give some advices how to find it. Well, you can play, for example, with this kind of sounds, really ugly. Try to create the most ugly sound that you can create, like eh, eh, eh. <laughs> a duck, quick, quick, quick. And then, and then, this is the bridge, give space. And then lower your larynx create the cocktail of chiaroscuro. I will try to make an example if I can. Let's see. Uh, quick, 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 quick. <laughs> really, uh, really penetrant, really metallic. And then I add this, add this space. <laughs> yeah, which is not just mass. <laughs> and which is not just lowering the larynx and creating cavity. No, it's actually the mixture is actually the balance between both chiaro and scuro. It's finding the ideal cocktail of these two elements of chiaro and scuro. So there is the twang and there is at the same time the lowering of the larynx. So again, you can play huh, and experiment this. And then... 
I don't know if you hear it. I hope yes. There is still a, a bit of this metallic sound, which is actually what we need because we do not work with microphone and we have to fill a very, very, very big space. So why don't you try it? Why don't you play with it? Make mistakes. Mistakes do not exist, actually, because we learn from mistakes. Eh? Try to find and um, combine these two qualities and maybe, yes, working on the mask, eh? starting from these very, very ugly sounds. <laughs> And then create the magical cocktail. So that you have the, the metal and also the roundness, the velvet sound, yeah? Chiaro scuro. <laughs> this is the recipe, actually, the main recipe, the basic recipe, the chiaro scuro in classical singing. So I hope it could help a bit, give some clarity, give you some inspiration to make some experiments around it. Try it. Let me know if it works. It's, it worked for me and for many others. And I see you very soon for another tip of the day. Have a blessed weekend. See you soon. Bye-bye to everyone from Italy, from Capucine. Bye.